this video we are going to discuss the construction of parabola by focus and directrix method this focus and directrix method is also called as eccentricity method this is the fifth solved problem we are discussing under focus and directrix method now we will enter into the construction of parabola by focus and directrix method the given problem is a fixed point is 75 mm from a fixed straight line draw the locus of a point p moving such a way that its distance from the fixed straight line is equal to its distance from the fixed point name the curve now we will extract the data from this problem here the fixed point is called as focus and the fixed straight line is called as directrix then we have to trace out the locus of a point p moving such a way that its distance from the fixed straight line is equal to its distance from the fixed point from this statement we will extract the information related to the eccentricity value based on the eccentricity value we will name the curve here the point p we are naming it as vertex point v the vertex point v's distance from fixed straight line is equal to its distance from the fixed point here the distance of the focus from directrix is 75 mm and the distance of the vertex from fixed straight line is equal to the distance of the vertex from the fixed point if we consider the distance of the focus from vertex as one unit then the distance of the vertex from directrix also becomes one unit as you know eccentricity it is a ratio of the distance of the point from focus by the distance of the point from the directrix e is equal to vf by vc that is the distance of the vertex from focus by distance of the vertex from directrix here distance of the vertex from focus is equal to 1 unit and the distance of the vertex from directrix is equal to 1 unit then e is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 that is e is equal to 1 if e is equal to 1 then the name of the curve to be constructed is parabola the method used for construction of the parabola is focus and directrix method if e value is less than 1 the curve to be constructed is ellipse if e value is greater than 1 the curve to be constructed is hyperbola in the present case eccentricity value is 1 with that we are going to construct parabola by using focus and directrix method based on the data we are into the construction of parabola by using focus and directrix method as a first step under the construction of parabola by using focus and directrix method draw vertical line ab which is called as directrix perpendicular to the directrix at a point c draw axis line cd here ab is the fixed straight line which is called as directrix and cd is the axis next step is locating the focus point along the axis line cd here in the problem it is mentioned that the fixed point is at a distance 75 mm from the fixed straight line so from the fixed straight line at a distance 75 mm along the axis locate focus point f after locating the focus point f next step is locating the vertex point v on cf line for locating the vertex point v we'll take the information from the problem related to the eccentricity ratio here eccentricity ratio e is equal to distance of the point from focus by distance of the point from directrix here e is equal to vf by 
Vc which is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1. That means E is equal to 1. That is the vertex point V is 1 unit from the focus and 1 unit from the directrix. So bisect CF. Here vertex V is 1 unit from the focus and 1 unit from the direct rates. Then Vf as a radius, V as a center, draw an arc on this perpendicular bisector and name this intersection point as E join CE and extend it conveniently. From the right side of this vertex along the axis, mark any number of points which may or may not be equidistant, but safe side will take equidistant. Here the gap between two consecutive points we are considering is 10 mm. Parabola is a open curve, so we can take any number of points. We have to take at least 5 or 6 points. After that, draw perpendicular lines at these divided points, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, such that they meet CE extended line at points say 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, and 6 dash. These perpendicular lines are with 3H pencil with a darkness of 25%. Then take 1 1 dash as a radius, F as a center, draw an arc on 1 1 dash perpendicular on both sides of the axis in order to get the point say P1 as well as P1 dash. Here we should not draw lengthy and dark arcs, we have to draw small and light arcs. Here this point is P1 and this point is P1 dash. Similarly, 2 2 dash as a radius, fix the point F as a center, draw an arc on 2 2 dash perpendicular on both sides of the axis in order to get the point say P2 as well as P2 dash. Repeat the procedure by taking 3 3 dash, 4 4 dash, 5 5 dash and 6 6 dash as radius and center as F only cut the same perpendicular line say 3 3 dash 4 4 dash 5 5 dash and 6 6 dash which generate the point say P3 and P3 dash P4 and P4 dash P5 and P5 dash P6 and P6 dash After getting all these points, we need to join all these points with a smooth freehand curve. That smooth freehand curve is going to be the parabola. Make a note, while drawing the smooth freehand curves, care to be taken that we have to hold the pencil freely and also we need to maintain some distance from the tip of the pencil so that we can move the hand freely for drawing smooth freehand curves. This curve is the required curve. So we have to dark this curve with H pencil with a darkness of 100%. After that, we will do the dimensioning. Here, the distance of the focus from the directrix is at a distance 75 mm. Here, all the dimensions are in millimeters. The eccentricity ratio is 1. That's why we constructed 
hyperbolic curve related to the pencil uses the perpendicular lines are drawn with 3h pencil with a darkness of 25% whereas the parabolic curve is with h pencil with a darkness of 100% This particular problem is very very important and it was asked many times under university examinations. With that, I am suggesting you to practice the construction process from the beginning to the ending with perfection. That's about the construction of parabola by using focus and directrix method. It's also called as general method as well as eccentricity method.